Manfred, the commissioner of baseball, spoke out yesterday. Here's what he had to say. Uh, he said, because I don't know exactly what the facts are, and I don't think the person who wrote the Times story knows exactly what the facts are, that it really doesn't make sense for me to speculate as to how serious a problem I have. Okay, Rob Manfred may not want to speculate, but you and I sure can do it here. <laughs> how big of a problem could this be for Major League Baseball? Well, I think in in theory, this is a very big problem because you know if if the, if one team is vulnerable, it shows that any, any number of teams could be vulnerable. Uh, the consensus around the game is that teams probably don't spend enough on cybersecurity uh, and that they should be more careful and and uh, uh, be a little bit more cognizant, of, especially because of the way that that. Uh, Front office officials tend to move from team to team. Mm -hmm. You got to be very careful to you know to make sure that uh, once they're gone, they they don't they can't get access and the passwords get changed and all those kinds of protocols that you know the rest of corporate corporate America I think takes more seriously. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. Change the passwords. Right, <laughs> right. And now, in this specific instance, what we've learned since the Times report is that this seems to be something that was traceable to a house that several Cardinals. Uh, uh, lower level officials were living in during spring training in Jupiter, Florida. Uh, I think, and I think that they've narrowed it to about four or five. Now, if these are just lower level yeah. uh, employees who maybe wanted to get back at, at uh, Jeff Lunau, the Astros general manager who was previously in the Cardinals organization and kind of a polarizing figure, figure there, then, you know, I, I, then I think it's probably uh, a relatively uh, inconsequential in terms of what, what the information was actually gained, uh, it probably did not give the Cardinals a competitive advantage, and those individuals will be you know, probably fired, they'll probably never work in baseball again, and the team as a whole will be fined. Now, if there's evidence that uh, John Moziliak or, or Bill DeWitt, uh, the general manager or the owner, or s anybody else higher, you know, in, the, in, the, in the upper hierarchy knew about this, then I think we'll see additional discipline. We could see suspensions, mm -hmm. uh, larger fines, although I think the best interest of baseball clause uh, uh, prevents Madford from assessing a fine of more than $2 million. Mm.